What's going on, Brosif? Welcome back to the Leaky First Company Coil channel. For those of you guys who have been watching, know that I have uh, an entire property full of leaking First Company coils. See, that's First Company. Yep, this one's frozen up as well, so probably going to be a leaky coil. See that ice there? We'll see. It's definitely low on refrigerant. Cut the fan on and melt the rest of that ice. You go get him a new filter. I'll be back. Alright, we should be thawed out by now. Let's go ahead and turn the fan off. Peel this filter that was stuck to the ice off. Drop our new one in, then we'll go fill it up with refrigerant to the correct pressures. I brought my leak detector, so we'll get it to, to the correct pressures, and then we'll come back up here and find the leak. I'll just start recording all these, because as I said on the last video, it's a 20 minute video, I don't know if a lot of you guys had time to watch it, but I said... When I first got here a year ago, I started making a list of all the leaky first company coils. I was like, I'll just make a list and then slowly replace them. Well, I got to 50. I got to 50 leaking coils and I just balled up the list and threw it in the trash. I was like, screw it, I can't do all this. I've had to replace five, five coils. And I've been here for, a, for one year. And the property is only three years old. So, like I said on the last video as well, it's not the, the work that gets to me, it's the fact that someone's been ripped off. Three-year-old property, 50 leaking coils. All right, let's go fill it up. Well, I guess it'd help if I turn the unit on. It's 75 in here, we'll bump it down to 72. All right. Yeah, super low. 59 PSI 60 that's really low and for you new guys I also keep an eye on this number here see that's the saturation 9 degrees that's why it freezes and turns into ice because it's below 32 below 32 is freezing you know and that's at 8 degrees so that's why all that ice comes up I keep an eye on that number as well so let's get the air out of the system we don't want air getting in our getting in our uh, system here so I mean get the air out of the lines that is not your system we don't want air getting into the system and that's why I bleed the line real quick and now we can enter refrigerant into the mix so I'm gonna get this sub cool up to 12 because it's a TXV if it was a piston up there I would be worried about the superheat but since it's a TXV we're gonna get that to 12 I'll just start titling these videos HVAC for beginners, man. All the blow and goes I'm gonna have to do. Gas and goes. So, yeah, I'll just keep popping it with refrigerant, putting refrigerant in until it gets to 12 degrees subcool. I'll be back, then we'll look for the leak. All right, we're slowly coming up. As you can see, this is 40 degrees now. It was at nine degrees, so we're out of danger of freezing. There was one time, a long time ago, I could not get the saturation above 32. I just kept adding refrigerant, adding refrigerant. Would not go above 32 degrees on the saturation. And what happened was the fire damper closed in the plenum on the unit. So watch out for that. You know, if you're ever dumping refrigerant in there, you just keep dumping and dumping and this number doesn't change. Go check the fire damper in the plenum. Yeah, I had an airflow issue. So there's a little tech tip for you. Could, could be something else as well, but that was a tricky one for me. So that's why I watched this number as well, the saturation along with the superheat and the subcool. Yeah, the old fire damper was closed. And then when I figured it out and I opened it, man, these numbers went straight to the roof the freaking high pressure switch cut the unit off oh, it was embarrassing I had to recover refrigerant but 
hey we win some we learn some that was definitely a learning moment so keep an eye on your saturation number as well and if you can't get that above 32 and you keep dumping refrigerant Check for the fire damper in the plenum. The plenum is above the air handler in, inside. All right, let me get this to 12 and we'll go check for the leak. I like to get my little screwdriver and engrave these things. That don't wash off like a marker does. That will rust and will never go away. Nice and labeled. All right, I got this baby at 12 degrees subcool. Around 12 degrees subcool. Once again, it is a rotary compressor. Can't get them below 20 degrees on the superheat, like I've said in the previous videos. But I bet up at the coil, it's around 19 degrees or so. So, hey, I just deal with it. I didn't build the place. Now let's go look for the leak. All right, now we're back in the apartment. Let's turn the unit off and look for the leak. I'll put a filter in there when I do the charge because it can get wonky if you don't put the filter in. Like you can tell when someone puts a filter in when you're down there doing the charge because you'll see the suction pressure drop. Alright, grab the leak detector. You let it warm up. These things got to warm up. Once it starts giving me the beepy beep, I'll be back. All right, here we go. Another first company coil. Oh, it's already chirping. Ah. Right there. Another leaker. Guys, I'm not kidding you. When I said I was keeping a list and I got to 50, I just threw the list away. They're all leaking. It's a 300 unit property. And it's not the work that gets to me. It's just like the fact that somebody got ripped off and you call people and they're like, oh, well, I mean, you know, it's just, you know, we've never had any problems with it. They don't come out to try to remedy the situation. Nothing. They're just like, oh, oh, well, that's the nature of the beast. See you later. Half a million dollars spent on this crap. All right, I have to order another one. What do we got here? First company, 32 UX. All right. $2,000 a pop. Glad I'm getting it all on video and no one would ever believe me. I've been at this 20 years, never worked at a three-year-old property where all the coils were leaking. <sighs> Job security. All right, well, it was 75 in here when we showed up. It's already brought the temperature down to 74, which is good. I'll bump them up to 75 where they had it and drive on with my day. All right, guys, I'll leave a coil replacement video in the description below. It's going to look just like the way I do this one. I use the same system pretty much every time. These coils take six to eight weeks to get here. So instead of waiting six to eight weeks to watch me do it, replace it, just check out the video below if you want to see what that looks like. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Later.